Okay, fellas, welcome to my playthrough of Alice Silence or Alice in Silence. I'm not sure. I'm looking at this uh, this main menu here and I paid a dollar for this. No, I paid a euro. But anyway, it's an RPG maker horror game, which we haven't played in a long time. I've actually kind of missed these. I miss reading more than anything, I think. I don't read enough in my videos anymore. You guys remember when I read for eight hours straight? Maybe you don't, but I did do that and I lost my voice for like a week, so it's not worth it, but it is fun. Uh, anyway, I don't know anything about this game except that it's a survival horror game and that it's available in Italian and English. So hopefully we won't see too many, you know, big grammar errors or whatever. I'm not worried. Anyway, let's play. Dude, April Fools. Oh, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. I'll talk about it in a bit. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a perfect, happy family. Alice was a quiet child. She was kind and caring, but she always found it difficult to relate to others. She couldn't easily talk to the other children, and she always ended up alone, playing with her imaginary friends. But she had a loving family. A father who always played with her, a mother who cared for her, and a little brother who loved her so much. Was it all a masquerade? What a weird statement. I guess it's a question, but who are you asking? Surely something changed that night. Alice Silence. This is gonna be awesome. Strana Figura? Strange figure? Hello, you must be little Alice. Aw, we're adorable! Dot dot dot. Yes, it's me, and who are you? I'm a friend. You can call me White. I don't trust this guy. Hello, White. <laughs> That's not nice, Alice. But who are you? Excuse me, who are you talking to? Are you talking with me? No, little... I was talking to... Hmm, never mind. This is going to be the greatest RPG Maker horror game of all time. I heard you from far away. You were crying. What scared you? I wasn't. I never cry. Yes, little one. Yesterday you cried all day. Don't you remember? Me? I don't remember yesterday, to be honest. Ugh, Alice is a stoner. I had a fight with my mother and then... I don't know. I have an idea. Let's not think about it too much. Should I be saying their names? I don't know if you can tell who's who. As I'm reading this, there's not like a clear indicator as to who's talking. And I'm not going to do a voice. I'm not going to do a little girl voice. It's not going to happen. Uh, White says, please come down to the living room. I brought you a nice gift. A gift? I love gifts. Oh, no. My parents never give me any. I thought you had an awesome, happy family and your mother cared for you and your dad played with you every day. But I shouldn't. I shouldn't be walking around the house at night. My parents always say I could get hurt. I'm sure your parents won't have anything to say. Trust me. They're dead. All right, Mr. White. See you downstairs then, little one. This is going to make me uncomfortable. I'm already uncomfortable talking as this weird thing. Okay. Tutorial number one. You can save the game using Alice's diary. Oh, shit. It's your diary. Do you want to write something in it? Yes. Saved. Alright, we're in it. Oh, man. This is, like, grid movement? This is heavy. It's like Dark Souls. No, I don't want to rest. I have a menu? I can click it. What the hell? This is a weird... I don't want to click on end. I think that ends the game, maybe. Okay, you can run. But it feels really weird. Alice's favorite peluche. It's called Zugro. Okay. 
Italian speak up. What does that mean? Alice's grandfather's old books, mushrooms and nature. Anatomy for idiots. Dinosaurs, demons and giants, the truth about the world. The remaining books are sitting too far high and for this reason, Alice was never able to read them. You read a book about demons? Oh no, I don't care about this. If you stare into the mirror, you notice a ghostly grin. Mm. The bow looks good on you and your hair is neat. Yeah. Okay, whatever. Let's get out of here. What is that? It looked like mom and her head was hanging low. I shouldn't make any noise. Okay, so that's mom's room. Do you want to jump down? No! <laughs> Whoa, okay. Let's just get going here. I can't wake up mom. Are they sleeping in different rooms? Troubled marriage. Oh, there's the gift. Door is locked. From the inside? I would make too much noise and risk waking everyone up. Okay. There's so much dust that you can tell it's been years that things don't move from up here. Can I leave the house? Oh, I can. Maybe I should go mess with the gift. Let's just, let's just go. <laughs> I don't want to explore too much. It is my house. Wow, thanks. You really brought me a gift. Why didn't you believe me? After all, I'm your friend, right? I don't have many friends, so... Now we are best friends, then. Let's see what's here. I'll open it. You obtained flashlight. Wow, that is a good gift. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was a map at first. Like a map of our house. Wow. This is exactly like my father's. Thank you for the gift, Mr. White. I'm happy you like it. <laughs> okay. Now I'll try my gift. Tutorial number two, you can turn off the flashlight from your inventory. It works. Did you see it? It was dazzling. I'm starting to feel a little bit funny now, though. The gift is nice, but it makes me think of Dad, and I don't know why. This makes me sad. Are you sure you're sad, Alice? Why do you ask me that? You know, it's rude to answer a question with another question. Not something fit for a young lady. Leave that to the demons. Close your eyes and take a, a closer look at the gift. Is there blood on it? Okay. But this is my dad. What? You guys see the corpse in the middle of the room, right? If you're even watching, I guess you could be listening. All that blood. He He's dead. Who did this, Alice? Asks Mr. White. I do not know. Don't you remember anything? No, I don't. Hmm. Try to think about last night, Alice. Dude, she just told you. She doesn't remember. What I should remember, I don't understand. I'll help you. What do you have in your pocket? A knife? This knife is not mine. Oh, my head hurts. I'm starting to recall something. <laughs> Are these real memories? Oh my god! What happened? That's not possible. No, it's all a lie. It wasn't me. It couldn't possibly be. How old are we? We look about four. It's not true. It's not true. It's not true. It wasn't me. It was a monster. I swear I'm not evil. It was that monster. Please, I swear, help me. Now it wants to kill me too. Oh, Alice, you surely are more interesting than I thought. Tutorial number three. If you are injured, you could treat yourself by resting in bed. What the fuck is that thing? Wait. Oh, I think it sees me now. Wait, I want a knife. Mom, wake up. What happens if I jump down? Oh, nice. Can... Oh, I lost health. 
I think if I have the flashlight on, they can see me. Does that make sense? I don't think I could turn it off, though. Yeah. Fuck. Alright, whatever. A closed? What a dodge. Ow! <sighs> I had to time that better. It's alright. We'll get him next time. Let me talk to Dad and then go take a nap. Is that a key? You found a key. Otto-san. Alright, whatever. Let's go. We can't really afford to fuck around here. Plus, I don't want to do all that tutorial stuff again. Get to the bed. Take a nap now. Go. All right, we'll take a nap and then we'll save and then I think we're good. We can explore. Nice. Okay. Survival horror. Look how much faster we are. Okay, now where does this key go? Looks like the key is for this door. Do you want to open it? Yes. And what else am I supposed to do, I guess? Alice's brother's schoolwork. Oh shit, he's there. It's your brother's diary. Do you want to write something in it? I can save in his diary? Um... I don't know if we should wake him up. I mean, this is bad. If he's even alive. Your brother's sleeping. Do you want to wake him up? Uh, why give me the option? I mean, I'm not too invested in this kid. Yeah, I'll wake up. Oh, he's dead. Yikes! What's wrong, Alice? Are you sad again? He is dead. Who did it? Was it the monster? Dude, he's being such a dickhead. Because he knows who did it. We all know who did it, but he's being a huge dick. Yes, I'm sure it is hit its fault. Oh, Alice, I'm so sorry about your brother. The monster will pay for it. Damn. It must die. For now, you can't face it. You have to run away. All right, bitch. Damn, it's like guarding the door. Dude, stop. <laughs> Yeah, later. Now what? I didn't really get anything in there. Door is locked. Okay, bathroom. Uh, washing machine. There's blood on this washing machine. I don't need it. The toilet? You must always wash your hands, Alice. You guys too. If a four-year-old can do it, you can too. I don't think there's anything in here for us. Fuck it. Let's get out of here. Um, I don't think there was anything in the kitchen either. Oh, what is that thing? Fuck you. A stone that gives off a strange light. Do you want to touch it? Yes. <laughs> Dude, the monster's camping me. Dude, get away from me. This is a little gift for me. Look straight at the center of that fragment, Alice. Okay. A strong light floods the room. How strange. It appears that a knife is missing. Oh, it's Mom. Mom, can I go to the garden? Oh, Alice, why do you want to go out? I saw a kitten. Alice, but you risk getting hurt. You shouldn't bother to the neighbor's cat. Come on, Mom, I won't even touch it. I just want to go see what it does. Okay, but get home before dark and don't run. Okay, Mom, I promise I'll be right back. Hmm, where did I put it? It couldn't just disappear into thin air. Mom only has one knife. Alice, is everything okay with the cat? Yes, Mom. How's that a gift for me? I washed my hands again. I shouldn't take anything out of the drawers? What does that even mean? I once tried to put my brother there as a joke, haha. <laughs> In the oven? You're not fooling anyone anymore. You're a murderer. 
Um, alright, well, I can't do anything. Maybe the fridge? An open fridge. Do you want to get something? Yes. Green and black energy drink. Interesting. I kind of want to see what it does. An energy drink that has become very popular among gamers. I'm not going to drink it. I feel like I can and I won't. I won't have it. The door is locked. Well, everything is locked. I can't do anything. There seems to be a continuous sound coming out of the speak of TV. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. Um, if there's nothing here, maybe there was something in my brother's room. Oh, there was a key. I just have to leave and come back. You found a key. Uh, 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 hold on. There we go. Thank you, brother. Use your diary. Okay, now, does this go here? Okay. Nice. Mom is hanging, dude, and I'm grabbing this key. I don't even care. Wardrobe. There's so much dust that you could tell it's been years. Okay, she doesn't have a diary, though, so this kind of sucks. Alright. <laughs> That's not... Damn. How'd she even do this? A handwritten letter with many drip stains. You want to read it? Or... No. I guess I can't even... I can't do anything about mom. Alright. The door doesn't open and it's blocked. Dot, dot, dot. I heard something. I have to turn on the flashlight. Oh, shit. Yeah, nope. It doesn't work. Uh, uh, uh. The window? Uh, the mirror? <laughs> I don't care if I look good, dude. Do you want to try to force it? It's opening up a little more. Oh, yeah. Yeah! I'm good. Okay. Um, Mom's room, brother's room. So this is, what, dad's room? What the fuck? <laughs> this must be dad's dungeon. What happened? I tell I got teleported back. My head burns, but I have to continue. Oh, the hallway is getting longer. Where the hell am I? Where the hell is anything in this world? The flashlight doesn't seem to work. I'll have to continue without it. Looks like I came in here. Maybe I can look it up something similar for the exit. Are you talking about the mirror? I can't even see. What is that? Failed to load gameover.png. Retry. Oh, it literally doesn't work. I gotta I gotta fix for this. Let me go let me put a picture in image system game game over PNG. This will just make it so that I guess I don't uh, I don't lose or whatever. I don't know. Because I can't even... I have to close the game. Dude, how could you forget to put in the game over screen? How does that even happen? Okay, but I mean, we don't really have to do much. We have to get in, grab the key, and then get out. Or try to get out anyway. run strats. Man, I don't know what to even think about this game. I haven't had a second to think about what I feel about this game. It's just very, uh... I don't know. It seems pretty competent, right? Like, maybe... Mm, it's hard to take it seriously with the translation stuff, that's for sure. 
Alright, speed run, strats. But it's also just kind of like not... The pacing is all off, I think is probably... Okay, let's focus. Where is this bitch? Oh, oh fuck! Yeah? Oh, it's like a maze. Okay. Oh, dude, there's more dead people in here. Why, why would you design this like this? What is that? The skeleton of a child? I can barely see. Fuck, it's coming up. Dude, I gotta go that way, I think. God, I can't see. Oh. No, no! Well, at least we get to see if gameover.png works. It does not. That sucks. Lighting effects off? What does that do for me? Oh, wow. Thank goodness. Damn, I should just play like this the whole time. At least until I'm done with this. I'd way rather be able to see than not see. This time, no one's stopping me. Oh, that's great. Look how much better this looks. What is... Oh, it's just me. That's what the monsters are. Um... This is terrible, dude. What am I even playing right now? Why is this like this? Okay, alright. Are you gonna go up? Fucking bitch. Don't go down. Oh my god, this is terrible. No. Yes. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, I see it. I see the answer. All right, all right, all right. What are you going to do? Are you going to go up? Oh, yes. Stupid. Oh, yeah. Let Do I want to go out? Of course. Let me save. Okay, now we can turn... Oh, shit. Now we can turn this off. Wow, look at that. You found a key. Wait, what? Alice's peluche seems to follow you everywhere. What is this key going to open? The front door, maybe? It's the only thing I could think of. Come on, Alice. Come here for a moment. Okay. No questions, huh? I have to admit I'm a little disappointed, Alice. After everything you saw, you still didn't accept what happened. You should have remembered better. I don't think you recollected enough memories. What do you mean? I'm really disappointed. But at least I'm full. <laughs> hmm, I hear someone else crying. <laughs> Bad ending. Oh no. English adaptation. Fire that man. Um, alright. Well. Also fire the game tester for not dying once. All right, so I got to find memories. That's, um, okay. But I mean, I, I mean, I guess I could just check all the old rooms that I've been in. We could do that. Is there a memory in here? No. Maybe there's one in the kitchen again. No. Oh, what the hell? I didn't see it. Maybe there's one in here. I, th I mean, the letter feels like it should be one, right? But it's not. And my brother's room didn't have one either. Oh, the bear followed me. 
but it's got nothing to say. It appears to have... He appears to have been strangled after several stabs to the stomach. I mean, I want to know what happened. Where are these memories? It's not like there's that many places. Oh, there we go. Hmm, what the hell is the smell? It's coming from this drawer. Seems stuck. In the drawer, there are two bodies of tortured cats and a kitchen knife. Alice, I can't believe what the hell did you do? Hi, Mom. Can I go and play outside? Oh, fuck. Um, yes, Alice, go ahead. Mom has to clean the room. What are you doing there, Mom? Nothing, Alice. Go ahead and go play outside. Mom is busy now. Okay, but don't touch my toys. Alice, why do you do these things? What should I do? Alright, worst mother award. Um, save. And heal, I guess. Might as well. So, like, without a doubt, we're absolutely insane. Um, maybe others have spawned now? Yep, there's one. What did I do to my brother, dude? Oh my god! <laughs> I'm speechless. Have you finally understood, Alice? I'm confused. I've never done those things. It's your fault you changed my memories in some way just to drive me crazy. Oh, Alice, please don't disappoint me. Go away. What a disappointment. Oh, shit. What does that mean? That means I save, I think. We're about to engage in a boss fight. What's up, little bro? What did he say? Here we go, another memory. Mom, can I come in? Everything okay? I'm coming in. Mom, what are you doing? Mom, mom, mom. She's dead. It's all my fault. I, I'm a monster. So we snapped. Uh, you know, I don't want to bring this up, but it's bugging the shit out of me. Um, like, right above my head, whenever I move, there's this, like, sprite is messed up. And you can see these this, like, little black line. Maybe you could see it better in the mirror. Do you guys see that fucking line? Ah, whatever. It's bugging the shit out of me. Okay, well, let's see where else we can find some memories in the restroom. Really, no memories of the restroom. We can go in the dungeon. Ah, there is one. Mom, is everything okay? You're shaking. Yes, Alice. Mom feels a little, little bit sick. Go play into your room. I'll help you, Mom. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll call your father. He. W oh, wait. No, this is Mom. Don't worry. I'll call your father. He will help me. Okay. Okay, it seems locked and safe. Should I call the police? I came back earlier today, dear. What's happening? I am fucking beyond confused. So maybe it isn't our fault? I'm grabbing the knife. I remember everything. This is like James at the end of Silent Hill 2. I needed you. I'm no longer afraid now. Sorry, you just wanted to help me. Wait, this is like literally what James says. And I sent you away. Now I'm alone again. No, not this part. You were never alone, Alice. 
I thought I sent you away. I thought you were gone forever. I'm sorry. I have always been by your side. Well done, Alice. I'm proud of you. Now get out of this house and live your life. Free. To you who are reading this. Oh, God. Why? <sighs> if you're about to threaten me with a four-year-old girl with a knife, this is, I'm the wrong guy, dude. We also come to you. Uh, oh no, Alice is coming for me, dude. She'll get here in 30 years. Damn, maybe then I'll actually be scared of her. If she survives for fucking 30 years. Uh, well, I mean, I have a knife. What does a knife do? You f have finally understood what you are. usare el coteo su Alice? You can use you can use the knife on yourself. Okay, well that's one ending that I'm gonna save for, obviously. We'll do it in our brother's room, because I don't wanna walk that far. Sorry, little bro. We'll be using this in here. I know you understand. Forse vigli cose. Potro finalmente riverdeli. Secret ending. Fucking, you give me a game over for an ending? This guy is a menace. All right, well now uh, we'll go outside. Oto-san. The father's body appears to have crashed against the wall. Arms and legs appear to be reattached with a substance sticky black. All right. Uh, did I already go in the bathroom with the knife? Yeah, I don't think there's anything else. All right, let's go outside. I'm no longer afraid now. Get lost. Guard? Hello, little one. Are you okay? Why are you here outside alone with this rain? Boss, that's blood. Oh, shit. No, I'm not. Please help me. I think someone killed Mount Hull family. <laughs> Suckers. Good and <laughs> Don't ask me. Are those all the endings? I don't even know. What do you... What? There was like, there's weird perverted guys right outside my house at the dead of night during a storm. And I'm just supposed to be like, yes, opportunity to kill. Oh boy. One euro, huh? One euro. Man, I was going to tell you guys about how awesome April Fools was. How much fun I had gaslighting everyone. And then look, it's like the joke was actually played on me. Oh, you thought this was going to be a good game? <laughs> Uh, is there any way to even know how many endings there are? Oh wait, damn, that's actually genius. Hold on. I'm just curious about this. I want to see if maybe I could do this. I'll do... I'll copy this, paste it, rename it game over. Okay, I'm gonna load. I don't think there's anything else I could do, to be completely honest. I was hoping there would be like a true end. Maybe if we go in our room? Not really. All right, well, that sucks. Is there any way to die? All right, we could just kill ourselves. Oh, Jesus! Oh, I closed the fridge. Then I opened it. Then I closed it again. All right, well, shit. I washed my hands. And then I used the knife for fun. Does it work? Does it work? Does it work? It does work. <laughs> yes, dude. Wait, where are these guns? Where's the battle axe? When do I get one of those? Oh, man. All right, guys. That was my playthrough of Alice Silence. Uh, I don't think I really need to talk about how I feel. I, I think the way I played this game and 
generally my tone and how little I gave a fuck. Probably gave it away, but it's not really a good game. Uh, I feel like it could be, but there's no subtlety. Not that every game needs to be subtle, but like with a game like this where you have child murder, you know, where you one child strangles another, you know what I mean? Like this is like, come on, dude, that could have been implied. I didn't have to see it. I mean, it was I kind of cool, I guess. It's just not like if it was implied, it would be scarier than if you showed me Alice fucking double dashing in front of his her brother and choking him out. That was crazy. I can't even believe you showed me that. Why would you do that? <laughs> uh, whatever. Um, what else do I have to say about this game? Uh, the maze thing is really stupid. I, I can't believe you would put that in a horror game like this and expect people to not get pissed. Yeah, I just, you know, I don't know. Don't trust your playtesters, I guess. Because anybody who playtested this game would have seen that part, played through it, died two or three times, and been like, yeah, no, this is not scary. This is actually just dumb. Uh, other than that, if I had any words of advice for the developer, it's to keep making RPG horror games. I'm not mad. I think that uh, if this is your first game or whatever, then it's great. I just think that maybe you should play more horror games or maybe watch horror movies like good ones and try to understand what it is exactly about them that makes you afraid before tackling something like this. I think that's all I really have to say, though. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys as always. Thanks for making April Fool's fun every year. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one, next April Fool's. All right, guys, take care. Bye-bye.